It is September 8, 2019. We had a fairly dramatic day yesterday. My mother has been helping me uh, in the back of the property dealing with the atrocious mess of burdock and thistles and deadfall. While my mom was carrying a big bundle of burdock to be thrown on the burning pile, she tripped over whatever debris that is there in abundance, fell and hit her hip on a tree stump and uh, was in excruciating pain. Uh, it took quite a while before she could even get up. And thank God, Carla and John were there. Carla, who speaks Dutch and is a registered nurse and so, and had her golf cart with her right there. So Carla, bless her heart, immediately took control of the situation. Uh, we managed to eventually get my mom on her golf cart, Carla's golf cart she drove her straight almost into the house <laughs> this close to the house we brought my mom in and carla immediately examined her asked her to move whatever she needed to be able to move and determined that this was going to be a severe severe bruise that would hurt for uh, a while my mom told me later she said she gave me such deep reassurance that this was going to be okay even though i was in excruciating pain she calmed me right down i felt safe with her i felt cared for and i felt reassured that i would be okay so what a blessing what a blessing inside a, of course, traumatic and horrible and unpleasant and sad and painful uh, incident, accident. Yeah, it's really sad, of course. My mom comes to visit uh, once a year, usually for about two weeks. Uh, we're well into her second week. Uh, she's scheduled to fly home uh, on Wednesday. And uh, so the last couple of days uh, she will spend basically on the couch uh, in pain, uh, taking pain medication and not being out and about uh, enjoying her visit here. So that's very, very sad. The blessing inside of the sad situation was Carla for sure and how she was able to calm my mom right down and help her. If you would write the script, oh, somebody gets hurt and oh, by golly, the neighbor is a registered nurse and she's right there with her golf cart slash ambulance. She speaks Dutch and she takes control of the situation and everything works out just lovely. You would say, well, that's a little unrealistic of a story, isn't it? That sounds a little uh, too good to be true, <laughs> and yet it happened. <laughs> I didn't film it because my battery had run out, uh, and it probably was a good thing that I didn't film it because it was very dramatic, uh, and my mom was in, in uh, excruciating pain, <clears throat> which is um, really, really unfortunate because she was there helping me out. Help Anyway, back to scooping poop. <laughs> and I can't help but notice that this unfortunate incident again enforces my faith in goodness. That at the heart of everything that is, lies goodness. 
and that's even inside of negative, unfortunate, unwanted, painful, sad situation is the seed of something good. I have a lot of poop to clean today because of course after my mom fell I went back to the house with her and stayed with her. She needed help with everything, going to the washroom, or getting uh, her dressed and getting a blankie and bringing her tea and uh, the works, of course. That was also lovely to be able to be there for my mom because normally there is a whole ocean between us. So uh, again, another example of something good inside of the bed and you can always find the good inside of the bed if you so choose and the beauty is once you focus on the good inside of the bed over here the good now becomes the foreground of your experience the bed doesn't necessarily disappear but it becomes kind of like the background noise. So one of the skills that I teach in this visionary leadership training is how to connect with, perceive, realize, get present to the good in every moment and especially in the moments that feel really, really, really bad. Before my mother got uh, injured in the line of duty, battling burdock, she researched burdock on her phone and discovered that in Europe they actually brew beer. Thank you, Sky. That was very generous of you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate that she pooped right here where I was parked for my poop scooping instead of over there where I thought I was already ready. What a <laughs> so sweet. So my mom who is a really smart cookie, connected the dots and said, you have a burdock infestation, you have a burdock problem, and you have a brewery right next door. So inside of a bad, 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 bad situation was a glorious opportunity to actually turn something that is a past into something that becomes productive. An artesian European beer brewed <laughs> from a the biggest little farm type of consciousness that recognizes that for every problem there is a solution. And that the seed of something good is always inside of the bed. Are you coming here to poo? Why are you wondering where that hay is? Oh, hi Pepper! How are you this morning? Imagine a happy thing, like a good beer, brewed by a extremely, extremely local artesian brewery. Brewed with the burdock that otherwise would be a complete pest to me, a nuisance, something that I have to quote unquote deal with. And now 
it can be turned into a lovely European specialty experimental beer. Zach, a beer with a story. Beer crafted using European traditions born out of the contrast that I was living getting present to this burdock infestation on this property right next door. That's a lovely story. That's a story in the same um, lineage of the biggest little farm. And where did I see the biggest little farm that had been recommended to me for good reasons months and months and months before by my mother who saw the film first and said, Anime, you have to see this film. Eventually I did see it because I was living here and good lot across the street was screening the biggest little farm. And that's where I saw it. We dragged our lawn chairs over and we sat in the front seats we were drinking the complimentary beer that was served with the movie tickets and I weeped through the whole film because it was a beautiful film, it was an inspiring film, it was a very, very beautifully crafted film. I recognized so much and I was seeing it in this absolutely idyllic setting inside of my new community the people that gather here around the good lot brewery and the whole experience just touched me so deeply um, that i was <laughs> crying throughout the movie just by sheer recognition joy um, uh, being touched to the core of my being and of course a couple of good beers made me extra emotional <laughs> not gonna lie but imagine imagine Zach and Phil and Gil imagine a burdock beer on tap as a specialty beer you don't have to sell it in the beer store <laughs> even though it may become a super big hit. It's a European tradition. It was um, researched and suggested by my mother, who was battling burdock over here across the street and realized, hey, love thy enemy and brew a good beer out of your enemy. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. A beer with a backstory. It was almost literally back-breaking work. And even there is a backstory surrounding the burdock, surrounding the recognizing the good inside of the bed. And why not brew a good lot beer with that backstory and that message? In everything, no matter how shitty it looks, there is the seed of goodness.